Hey, I'm Gareth from Park Cameras, and today we're going to be talking about shooting portraits with a wide angle lens. So, I've got the Canon 24mm f1.4 L lens here, and I've taken it out and I've, over a couple of days, shot some different portraits with it. Um, I've also used some other lenses to get some stuff as well. And I wanted to talk about this because I generally would shoot portraits with an 85 millimeter. Um, that's my kind of go-to portrait lens. You could also obviously do a 50, you can do whatever you want, but that's what I would normally do. And you get that nice blurred out background. That's what I love doing. So I thought it'd be a nice creative challenge to try a wide angle lens for portraits and see what we can do. Like I said before, I like shooting portraits around 85 millimeter. I love the compressed look of things. I love being able to just drop the background out. And that's my preferred style for portrait shoots. So this is a cool creative challenge to try out and just to kind of push yourself as a photographer. Um, and it's just an interesting thing to do. So the first thing we're shooting with something like this, the 24 millimeter, is you need to be a little bit careful um, about distortion. So if you're gonna get closer into your subject, you need to be careful around the edges uh, for distortion. Actually, this particular lens is really not too bad for distortion, but some wide angle lenses will give you uh, more distortion than others. And certainly if you're gonna kind of center up your subject, if they're gonna move an arm out to the side or anything like that, you could get some slightly weird proportions um, of limbs and heads and all kinds of things like that. So that's definitely something to, to take into account first of all. But if you use something like this, which has a maximum aperture of f1.4 or some other wide angle lenses which have f2.8, you can still get some really nice out of focus elements into your shot. So something I like doing, and I've mentioned this in a, in a bunch of other videos, is shooting through things. So I'll often back up into the tree line, shoot through the leaves to get them out of focus and just poking into the shot to frame the subject. And with these, you can do that because you've got that nice wide aperture. Um, you can blur those out and have those out of focus, but still framing your subject. The other thing you can do if you get nice and close into your subject is actually drop out that background and have that blurred shot um, like you would go for with a 50mm or an 85mm. Um, you can still achieve that kind of same effect uh, with a 24mm. Now to do it you would have to get fairly close in uh, because they're so much wider, especially if you're shooting full frame. Um, you will have to do that, so again you're going to have to watch out for distortion, but you can still get that bokeh in your shot. You can still pull that off, especially, especially with this one, it's a lot easier because of the 1.4 aperture, but even with a 2.8 lens, um, you can certainly do that. But something you can do with a 24 millimeter lens, which you can't do, or certainly not as easily, uh, with, a, with a 50 or an 85, certainly 85 wouldn't be as easy to do this, is pull back and actually get some context to your portrait. So include the environment, the surroundings um, in your portrait. So for example, in this shot, I have my subject sitting on a tree stump and I pulled back so that I could get just her um, rather than isolating her in the frame by dropping out the background, which would be nice and straightforward to do, and also is obviously a lovely shot, but actually I pulled back and isolated her within the environment. So she's now sitting on this tree stump, surrounded by these tall trees. Uh, it's a nice wide shot, so she's quite small in the frame. Um, but I, I love the shot. It's, it feels like it's more of a story. She's kind of alone in this, in this forest, and, and I, I, I like that as a contextual shot. It leads to lots of opportunities for telling stories with your pictures, uh, because rather than just having the standard go-to, drop the background, nice blurred, blurred look to the background, and, uh, and, a, and a portrait shot, you can actually tell stories of, of uh, people in a, in a forest, or, or in a city, um, or along the seafront, or anything like that, where you can actually get some really nice wide shots of people um, actually within their environments. And actually what happens is that the environment itself becomes part of the subject, and part of the the story of the photo. Uh, and that's, that's a really nice thing that is much easier to do with a wide angle lens when you're shooting like that. So I hope you found that interesting. I'd love to hear about any experiences you've had shooting portraits with wide angle lenses down in the comments below. If you've got any questions, pop them down there as well and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. If you liked the video, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe if you're not already. 
I'll see you in the next video. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>